I've just witnessed one of the coolest things I've ever seen. This right here, this is the brand new A3 and over here is Danny Garrard, the man who designed it and he live drew this for us. And that is coming up next on the Fastlane car because this is really cool. Oh, and Nathan oh, just stole it. Yeah, Nathan, he yeah. just took it. Well, don't worry, we have the car here. <laughs> we have the real car right there. <laughs> and that is coming up next. I have to go quick not to bore you, but uh, we'll finish that sketch later during the evening. So, talking about Bauhaus, to make things simple, it's not that simple. Yeah. When it looks finished and it looks simple, it's fine. But it's not that simple to reach the simplicity. So, we said we need to have a very clear, a very clear base, a very clear body, and, uh, and uh, a very clear split to the front and the, and the cabin. So this clarity is, is used by having a very strong, with a lot of tension, tornado line and character line, what we call. So, and, and here now, very clear shoulder. Every, everything is very simple and very clear to see. We put the cabin on. So what we mentioned is a three box design. It's not a fast coupe. I mean, we, it is a three box design, and it is a it is a sedan in a legitimate head clearance that what's happening here. So very important point to uh, to keep in mind. At Audi Design, we have three uh, window graphic, which is allowing us to be to have a nice flow to the seatbelts and sitting the seatbelts really well over the wheel. So this three window graphic is taking place obviously also on the A3. What is very important is the opening that is happening here. This, this angle is very open. It's not like closed like this, but it's very open, especially in the three-quarter front. It really integrates really well this, this three-box design. Another golden rule that we have at Audi is um, we have always the cabin being one-third of the body and the body being two-thirds of the overall mass. This is also one of the one of the rules that we learn time after time and year after year um, using this Bauhaus philosophy. So here is one third, and here is basically put the ground line, two thirds of the body. So this is very important to to ensure that we we reach that uh, that uh, proportion. We make sure that, uh, that the, the chrome applique is mounted on the door. This is not happening on the other A3s and other cars. And we wanted to make sure that the cabin is really tight to express the sportiness. So the, the mounted, the mount, the mounted uh, chrome applique is mounted on the door. And this is like giving optically a tighter cabin than it is in the reality. So this is, this is like now to, to this thematic of Bauhaus. Yeah. Um, I will, I will put another feature here which is happening uh, and it's giving my, my surfer now the type of thing. So I, uh, I, this line is quite well inclined. And it's also catching a lot of light. So it's very, very present when you, when you see the car in upcoming traffic in three-quarter front view. It really sits the car really on a, on a very nice uh, angle base. But not only this, after the wheel, this feature is, carries on after the wheel, but has a second angle, and, re and it's reinforcing this movement. So come back to, to, to uh, thinking about that big way of pushing the circuit, and it sits all this part of the car in a very, a very nice and dynamic uh, area. You start to see the A3 now, and then it starts, it starts, it starts to happen. Yeah. So I'll put another few lines just to complete the sketch. So we have our line. So now talking about precision light to shadow play. So 
I'm using now the, uh, the door cut line to express this. There's a lot here, there's a lot of tension on the shoulder, and now the return is very precise. So now it's a very quite sensual surface, and then bang, again, very, very precisely uh, modeled out, uh, outward. So this is also happening here, and then we see this on the calm body side. So the precise shadow play is also guaranteed with, with this, what we, what we did. The surface, the dynamic is guaranteed here. And now we talk about a healthy, natural anatomy. I just mentioned a few, a few minutes ago that the strength needs to come from the back, not from the front. So we push. Here is the, is the strength. So here, in this area, we made sure that the car has physical, uh, physical and visual strengths. That means all the lines are growing and growing and at that point they, 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 they reach an apex and then they really tighten this area. So it is anatomically healthy. So the, and this is, this is uh, also a very good point to aim for a timeless design because it feels natural and it stays natural. So this is very important here. You'll feel this uh, on the road about the sensuality and the sexiness out of it. It's coming from the body side. So now we have here a very uh, uh, technical a sur a surface with a lot of tension, a very precise change. Another element on, uh, on the, the body side is also a very precise uh, shadow play around the wheel arch. We have this little return on the wheel arch and it gives a very precise contour. This encapsulates this here encapsulates this surface here and this surface is where the sensuality is coming so here we have highlights that really taking light in a very flowing and, and sensual way so now we have the lines moving around having nice highlights here so this is here, a very sexy surface which is happening and making this design complete. So obviously the rings. And now we have the grill. We have a, at the front also a double wing design which is also very interesting to discover. It's a very clear design statement which is making a very base and very, uh, I would say, a very clear, um, I would say, stable front that, that catches light really down low, and then, uh, and then we carry on. So, so, I mean, this is an explanatory sketch, and I need a few minutes to, to tweak it up and to make it as a presentation, uh, I would say, hard work. But this is basically what I wanted to explain how we integrated these uh, these features on on the body of the A3 sedan. So, I guess I guess Captain, you you have to come back here and say something for final words. Yes, thank you very much. Wow, Nathan, that was really cool to see the designer of the new A3 actually draw the car right in front of us. So what'd you do with that sketch? Well, uh, you didn't put it in your pocket. Nathan, uh, you did not, I, tell me you did not put it in your pocket. No, I gave it, I gave it away. I gave it away. I, I didn't, they, they made me give it back. They didn't, are you kidding? <laughs> oh, yeah, they made yeah. me give it back. Okay, as always, this is my man, Nathan, and Roman saying thanks for watching and wow, yeah. I'll do a better job next time. Ciao. Remember, check out tflcar.com for news, views, and reviews. Ciao.